I'd like to call to order the April 27th, 2022 meeting of the West Bridgewater School Committee. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. The listing of matters are those reasonably anticipated by the chair which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may be in fact discussed and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. This meeting is being shown live, live on cable and is being live streamed on the West Bridgewater Community Access Media website, wb-cam.org. A recording of this meeting will also be made available on wb-cam.org. <coughs> Under business, we have the MSBA statement of interest for the Rose L. McDonald School and the Spring Street School, which is a voting issue. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Hume. So the Massachusetts School Building Authority has an open submission window uh, starting in January, end of January through the end of April for districts. Additions or full building projects. They have an accelerated repair project submission window that's a little bit shorter, which is already closed. So we've talked about it. It's been one of my goals to look at potentially building a new elementary school in the district. Uh, so therefore, to do that, the first step is to submit statement of interest for the project. So we'll submit it hopefully on Friday. That, that is the deadline. So by Friday, I will do the submission online. Uh, I'll take all the information I've done and we'll uh, copy and paste it into the submission portal. Uh, after that, we've been told we may not hear back until December. They may reach out in the interim with any questions or concerns that they have to follow up on what we submitted. Uh, due to the potential is to be a consolidation project, meaning we may be looking to take two schools and combine them into one. That's why I decided to make, do the statement of interest for two separate buildings so that the MSBA would gather information on both buildings. Um, both of the statement of interest, the drafts are in your packets. A huge thank you to a bunch of people who helped me uh, create these drafts and put in information. Uh, Principal Keith Legoulet of both buildings, Julie Hamlin, our head of building and grounds, uh, was instrumental. Uh, John Collins, our technology director, added information. Debbie Giannis, our director of curriculum. And Tim Pope, our SRO, in terms of safety-related concerns that we have. Uh, so per the MSBA, we do need to have a vote of both the West Bridgewater School Committee and the Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen met last week, and I met uh, with them. I presented it, and they have signed off on providing me the permission to submit. Basically, that's what the, the votes are to, to allow the superintendent to submit the statements of interest. Uh, when we were doing the statement of interest, there are really we need to start with selecting priority areas. So these priority areas that are listed, and I will read, are off the MSBA checklist. So the first one is prevention of severe overcrowding expected to result from increased enrollment, something that we have talked about. Uh, both with at the school committee level, but also at the town level with the many building projects that are going on. Replacement, renovation, or modernization of school facility systems, such as roofs, windows, boilers, heating and ventilation systems, to increase energy conservation and decrease energy-related costs in a facility. I'll speak in a moment about the age of our buildings, uh, the wear and tear that they've had over the years, and how this would be beneficial. And the third is replacement of or addition to obsolete buildings in order to provide for a full range of programs consistent with state and approved local requirements. Again, the, the buildings weren't built for the education of our students and staff today, uh, so we're looking for a more modern facility. So some of the things that our schools are lacking, and this isn't an, an all-inclusive list, but our classroom spaces, uh, the, the actual size of the classrooms, is below the MSBA standard classroom size. We need more space in these elementary classrooms to do more centers and group work and so forth. We're pretty limited. Uh, integrating better and more efficient technology, I think we're retrofitting a lot of things into the different classrooms. 
providing breakout spaces both within the classrooms and within the building itself. Small group spaces as well are very much lacking. Obviously updated HVAC, electrical, and all other um, operating systems. Special education is very lacking. When we look at the facilities we have, they're in very small cramped spaces. If you look here at the Middle Senior High School, we have four special ed suites, which consist of a classroom, a small group space, and an office space that's also used for things like testing. We have very, very limited space for related services. Speech, OT, AP, APE are very, very limited. Space for our specialists, most of the time they're in the classroom or they're in a very generalized space such as a cafeteria that doesn't really fit their needs. Modern furniture uh, would come along with it in terms of uh, flexible furniture as well as adaptable and flexible spaces that can be used over the next 50 years. When you do a building project, you're really trying to project out over the next 50 years, which is hard to do, but that's where you, when you do your visioning, that's what you really, the intent of it is. Our schools do continue to function, and that's definitely due to the, the building maintenance staff. They continue to do a good job uh, repairing things as needed. But our schools are showing their age. The Rosa McDonald is 54 years old, and the Spring Street School is 66 years old. They are experiencing some structural issues as well as wear and tear issues that will certainly worsen over time and eventually continue to cost the district more money. Uh, just so everyone's aware that submission is no guarantee of being approved for the Middle Senior High School project from the records I checked. They submitted a statement of interest in 2007, 2008, and then in the fall of 2009 it was approved when the in the building was completed in the fall of 2015 so um, it is a lengthy process and there is no guarantee uh, but i think this is the best natural step for us to move forward for the needs of our kids and our staff and certainly our community so with that uh, if you have any questions or concerns i'll certainly try to answer them I don't have any. Um, I don't have any questions, but I just want to say uh, I appreciate all the effort of all parties involved in putting this together. I know it's a lot of work. Um, I think what really stood out for me, and I know I already communicated this with you when I uh, reviewed the statement of interest, is just the impact on special education. Um, you know, as a related service provider myself, I've, I've done my time working out of a closet, but that's not, you know, that shouldn't be the norm. And particularly at the Roselle, in reading where, with the population growing and spreading classrooms out, seeing special education being kind of forced into smaller and smaller spaces, it's just, um, you know, I think this is the right direction that we need to be moving. I agree. The only other comment I was going to make was just um, regarding, I, from what I had read in, in um, the proposals, was the security for today's world that the schools don't have currently. That's a big. I agree, I, and I think we're doing we're taking steps to mitigate potential issues, but it would be much better to have a state of the art security system and sally ports and locking doors to protect our kids and our staff. Thank you for all that hard work. You are welcome. <laughs> um, all right, so I actually have to read um, both um, submission votes. Um, I'll start out with the Spring Street School. Having convened in an open meeting on April 27, 2022, prior to the statement of interest submission closing date, the School Committee of West Bridgewater, in accordance with its charter, bylaws, and ordinances, has voted to authorize the superintendent to submit to the Massachusetts School Building Authority the statement of interest form dated April 29, 2022 for the Spring Street School located at 2 Spring Street, which describes and explains the following deficiencies and the priority categories for which an application may be submitted to the Massachusetts School Building Authority in the future. Priority areas are prevention of severe overcrowding expected to result from increased enrollments, Replacement, renovation, and modernization of school facility systems such as roofs, windows, boilers, heating, and ventilation systems to increase energy conservation and decrease energy-related costs in the facility. Replacement of 
for addition to obsolete buildings in order to provide for a full range of programs consistent with state and approved local requirements. And hereby further, specifically acknowledges that by submitting the Statement of Interest form, the Massachusetts School Building Authority in no way guarantees the acceptance or the approval of an application, the awarding of a grant, or any other funding commitment for the Massachusetts School Building Authority, or commits to the City Town Regional School District to filing an application for funding with the Massachusetts School Building Authority. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, so we're going to have to sign that one. Let's get going while I read the other one. Okay, for Roselle. Having convened an open meeting on April 27th, 2022, prior to the Statement of Interest submission closing date, the School Committee of West Bridgewater, in accordance with its charters, bylaws, and ordinances, has voted to authorize the superintendent to submit to the Massachusetts School Building Authority the Statement of Interest form dated April 29, 2022 for the Rose L. McDonald Elementary School located at One Stepping Stone Drive, which describes and explains the following deficiencies and the priority categories for which an application may be submitted to the Massachusetts School Building Authority in the future. Priority areas are prevention of severe overcrowding expected to result from increased enrollment, Replacement, renovation, or modernization of school facility systems such as roofs, windows, boilers, heating, and ventilation systems to increase energy conservation and decrease energy-related costs in a facility. Replacement or addition to obsolete buildings in order to provide for a full range of programs consistent with state and approved local requirements. And hereby further specifically acknowledges that by submitting the Statement of Interest form, the Massachusetts School Building Authority in no way guarantees the acceptance or the approval of an application, the awarding of a grant, or any other funding commitment for the Massachusetts School Building Authority, or commits the City Town Regional School District to filing an application for funding with the Massachusetts School Building Authority. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Uh, moving on to public comment. <laughs> members of the audience wishing to address the committee may do so at this time. Audience members are reminded that personnel issues or issues that would violate student or employee confidentiality cannot be addressed during the public comment. Seeing no one. Um, our next regularly scheduled school committee meeting will be on Monday, May 9th, 2022 at 5 p.m. here in the Middle Senior um, High School Learning Commons. Is there a motion to adjourn? Move. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you.